Right now on News 4 at 6, uniting as a front. Today on the sidelines, we saw Bills and Broncos take a knee during the national anthem. What fans are saying about their protest and the reaction from President Trump. And it was a day of record-breaking heat here in Buffalo, and we have more of that on the way this week. We'll let you know how long this sticks around and when it will finally feel like fall around here, coming up in your foreign forecast. Plus, tragedy in Tennessee. A gunman opens fire at a church near Nashville, killing one person and hurting several others. What we know about the suspect and what the victim's family is saying tonight. Live in high definition, this is Western New York's news leader. Now, News 4 at 6. Good evening, everyone. We start this evening with a big win for the Bills. They pulled off a surprising victory against the Denver Broncos earlier at New Era Field. News 4 Sports' Shannon Shepard joins us with a look at the highlights. Shannon? Hey there, Callan. Last week in the Bills' loss to Carolina, we were left with not much to talk about. A lethargic offense seemed to be brought back to life this afternoon at New Era Field as Shaw McDermott's defense continues to impress and made plays to win this game. Let's go right to the momentum swing. Second half, Bills down 16-13. Tyrod Taylor rolling out, finds Charles Clay. Six yards for the score. The Bills go up 20-16. to The Broncos get the ball back, but Trevor Simeon is picked off by E.J. Gaines. The Bills get three points off the turnover from Steven Hauschka, who was an MVP today. So Buffalo's got a seven-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. And to me, this was the play that sealed it. Simeon picked off again, this time by first round pick Tredavious White, the rook with his first career interception. The Bills would milk the clock and make it a 10 point lead on Helschka's fourth field goal of the day. The Bills win 26 to 16. Sports director Josh Reed joins me now live from New Era Field. Hey, Josh. Had a chip on their shoulder about this game. They felt like everybody. Hey there. The Nationally, everybody knows exactly how good the Broncos defense is. But finally, I think people are starting to come around and realize how good this Bills defense is. 12, 9, and 16. That is the total amount of points the Bills have given up in each game. Let me repeat it. 12, 9, and 16. That equals a 2 and 1 record. The Bills defense getting it done here against the Broncos. They forced those two big turnovers. Here's what head coach Sean McDermott had to say following today's win. Uh, you know, they've done a great job. I mean, they're playing well. Uh, we had a couple plays today that got away from us. Um, but they're re a resilient bunch. They really are. I mean, if it's not the front getting after the quarterback, somebody else is, um, you know, making a big playoff play, play for us in the back seven. So, um, you know, they play as a team, which that's how you play good defensive football. You play as a team. And they do a good job of feeding off of one another. Um, and really just doing their job, being 111 for the defense. You know, that's what we, that's what we live by. You know, we want to be the best defense, defense in, in the NFL. And uh, I feel like, you know, if we get takeaways and continue to play team defense, we'll be fine. Well, we just heard from Trey White right there, the rookie first rounder. Shannon, you mentioned it. That was probably the play of the game, and it was all him. We're going to hear more from him coming up later on in sports. Back to you. All right, Callan, much more on this one, like Josh just said, coming up in sports in about 20 minutes. In the studio, Shannon Shepard, News 4 Sports. Thank you, Shannon. Before the game started, Bills and Broncos players took a knee during the national anthem, a protest one day after President Trump said players who do so should be fired. We are hearing from some fans today who say the players' actions are disrespectful, but others are speaking out in support. Field. She has been talking to the fans. Rachel, what are they saying? Well, Cal and NFL players across the country have been protesting the playing of the national anthem today. Some players raised their fists in the air. Some kneel during the national anthem. Others just stayed in the locker room. However, Bills players stood with their arms locked. A good bit of them did kneel during the national anthem. And this is all in response to President Trump. He said that any player that kneels during the national anthem should be fired. <laughs> 
Now we've been hearing from owners all across the country today uh, for NFL teams and including Terry and Kim Pagula. They said, quote, our players have the freedom to express themselves in a respectful and thoughtful manner. Now we talked to dozens of Bills fans as they left tonight's game and there were mixed reactions to today's protest. A lot of people found it to be disrespectful. Many people thought that politics and issues like this should be left out of sports and some say the protest is isn't a sign of disrespect, but a movement to show that not everyone shares the same freedoms and equalities. They let these people sit and make movements during the national anthem when that's when they should be standing at attention and respecting the veterans that died for that flag. I feel that they, they have their right to, to express themselves any way they want to. I, I don't think any of them were uh, talking bad about the country or uh, what the servicemen do for us and the law enforcement officers do for us. That's, I don't. I don't think that's the point. Um, they're just. You, you. You can criticize a con a country that you love. Now, you may remember that the kneeling movement started last year when former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick kneeled to protest racial injustice in America. And we did see a few fans sporting his former jersey here at the Bills game today. President Trump did take to Twitter again today to say that standing with locked arm arms is a good thing, but kneeling is bad. He says that's bad ratings and unacceptable. For now, reporting live at New Era Field, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 6. Bills players explained why they protested during the post-game press conference. LaShawn McCoy says the team wanted to show the world how they come together despite their differences. And on a personal note, he says he was, quote, very bothered by President Trump's comments. I can't stand, you know, and support something where our leader of this country is just, is just acting like a, a jerk, you know, um, angry and upset about NFL players protesting in a peaceful manner. Coming up in the next half hour, hear from quarterback Tyrod Taylor on this. Meanwhile, as Rachel mentioned, President Trump is firing back at these protests. In a tweet earlier today, he said, quote, great solidarity for our national anthem and for our country. Standing with locked arms is good. Kneeling is not acceptable. Bad ratings. He also followed up with several tweets about respecting the American flag and honoring veterans. In the weather department, it has been a record-breaking day here in western New York. Andrew, how hot did it get? We hit 90 here in Buffalo officially where uh, we keep these records at the airport. The old record was 88 degrees, so we beat that by two. Uh, 90 this afternoon. We're still in the upper 80s uh, here in Buffalo, and we actually had some spots even reach higher than 90 in western New York. It was just a warm day, and that's why we've been saying over the past several days, you got to make sure you're safe if you're outside and stay hydrated. Uh, glad to hear folks down at the stadium were so hydrated that they actually ran out of water, I believe, unfortunately. Uh, but here's a look at downtown Buffalo. It's another very warm day as the sun begins to go down. Niagara Falls again. Place to be is on the water. Made of the mist, probably a pretty nice place to be as well, uh, riding those ships. Uh, high temperatures today, again, 90. That record here in Buffalo, the new record, 92 up in Niagara Falls. We had a lot of 80s down around the southern tier. And again, that blazing sunshine and even a bit of humidity keeping things pretty oppressive out there. There's a look at temperatures right now. Still holding in the upper 80s, slightly falling along the Niagara frontier, but it is a very warm evening shaping up. Another uncomfortable night, in fact, uh, sleeping weather-wise. We'll stay largely in the 60s, most of western New York. The cooler spots, the southern tier valleys, only getting into the upper 50s, much like last night. We'll see a little bit of patchy valley fog by tomorrow's morning commute. Now, record heat likely again for tomorrow. We'll talk a lot about that and uh, some safety that uh, you'd likely want to follow especially for the kids heading off to school. We'll also talk about some big changes on the way late this week. I do have some autumn temperatures on the way in that seven day. All right, thank you, Andrew. All new tonight, we are working to find out what sparked a fire in Buffalo. Three firefighters were injured getting it under control earlier this afternoon. It happened on Parkdale Avenue around 1.15. Emergency crews say the fire started on the second floor of this apartment building and then spread to the attic. They tell us 14 people are now being assisted by the American Red Cross. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. 
We have now learned the pedestrian hit on the thruway last night has died. Part of the 90 westbound in Pembroke was shut down for several hours following the crash. It has now reopened. State police say the crash happened last night just before 845. Right now, it's unclear exactly what happened, but we do know the westbound lanes were shut down at exit 48A for about three hours. We do not know the name of the victim or the condition of the driver who hit the pedestrian. We're told no arrests have been made, but we will continue to follow up with state police and bring you the latest updates both here on air and on our website. A tragedy in Tennessee. One person is dead and several others are hurt after a gunman opened fire at a Nashville church. We now know the name of the shooter. Police say it's 25-year-old Emmanuel Cadega Sampson. Officials say Sampson shot and killed a 39-year-old woman in the parking lot of the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ earlier today. Officers say Sampson then went inside the building and opened fire, hitting six others. According to police, Sampson also pistol-whipped a man. Those seven victims are now being treated at the hospital. Police say Samson ended up shooting himself somehow. He has been treated and released from the hospital. The family of the victim say they're in shock. Something like this could happen in their community. I'm still just in total shock, you know. I just, I, it doesn't, I can't put a reason to believe that, you know, this is, this is where I grew up, you know. This is the church I grew up in. Um, and to, to hear something like this is happening, it's, I, I'm so in shock, I just can't put a reason to it. Investigators say they are not aware of any connection Samson had with the congregation. Again, he will be charged with murder and attempted murder. Well, coming up next on News 4 at 6, we're switching gears, bringing some rhythm to the Cataract City. The new campaign encouraging live music in Niagara Falls and how these public pianos will add something special to the community. And standing with Gold Star families, today families of fallen soldiers are being recognized at the Buffalo Naval Park. We're going to show you the memorial ceremony from earlier today. Oz, Monday at 9 on the CW23. West New York can count on us 24-7 for what's going on in their neighborhood. So we want to be able to let people know that severe weather is coming their way so that you actually have more time to prepare than just ducking into a building or ducking into your car. We're able to instantly cut into television and instantly also be on Facebook and Twitter. If you're somebody who's in severe weather, it's very comforting, and I know this from years worth of tracking tornadoes, to have a voice telling you what's happening at any given moment. We try to keep people out of harm's way. We're forewarned weather. That's why we're for Buffalo. To err is human. To anticipate is the Lexus RX. With pedestrian detection, auto braking, and lane departure alert, stand. Experience another step closer to a safer world. Lease the 2017 RX 350 all-wheel drive for $399 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. If you've been injured in an accident, don't wait, call me. Choosing the right law firm is crucial. Don't wait, call eight. For experienced attorneys who are available 24 seven, don't wait, call eight. And for a no fee promise where you pay nothing unless Salino and Barnes wins your case, don't wait, call eight. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, call 888 Don't wait, call eight. Welcome back, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Wow. I did a lot of shopping in Italy. And I met a nice man. Ciao. Gino. Gino. Da Italia. He's Italian. Very cool. Buick now has an SUV for that. The new Buick Envision. One of three luxury SUVs from the new... Music is a way of life for many people, but some aren't fortunate enough to have access to instruments. News 4's Kaylee Went was able to sit down with one musician who is sharing her love of music with an entire city. Shakespeare once said that when words fail, music speaks. Rosie Laurenti, a Niagara Falls native and musician, couldn't agree more. 
Music is a very important part of my life. Um, brought up on it, my mom played piano, um, my dad played instruments. It's always been something I've done. And it's always been something she hoped she could incorporate into the lives of others. She's doing that now by introducing the Niagara Falls Public Piano Initiative. The idea originally came from the streets of Buffalo. That used to be something that my friends and I would do is we would drive out to Buffalo and spend the day and find the pianos because it was free and it was fun. After a five-year absence of the pianos in the Queen City, Laurenti started asking around on social media about them. She also mentioned bringing them to the Cataract City. People started commenting negatively, saying that would never work in Niagara Falls. It would, people would vandalize them, people would ruin them or destroy them. And that bothered me because I knew that wouldn't happen. So I took it upon myself to find a way to make this work. The negativity was the push she needed. After only about three months of planning, the pianos were out in three different areas around the falls. Those include the Niagara Falls Visitor Center, the Art Alley, and on Old Falls Street. If you want to see them, you've got another month to do so before the weather turns and they are put away. They will be fixed up and touched up with no new paint. Hopefully we will have a couple more pianos to add to this for next year. To help get those new pianos, a GoFundMe page has been started. Rosie hopes that with her $3,000 goal, three more pianos can be purchased for next year, along with the restoration of the others she already has. In Niagara Falls, Kaylee Went, News 4. Well, it is a great day today to get out and play some pianos there. It is a beautiful day across western New York. If you can bear the heat, it was a record-breaking day, and it's still really hot out. Yeah, and it's going to stay that way for the next couple of days. We might actually break another record tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see that, in fact. Uh, and the heat's going to continue really through Wednesday before we finally get some relief on the way. And keep that in mind. Some schools maybe not having air conditioning in the kids, you know, make sure they're prepared as you send them off to school tomorrow. Make sure they're dressed in uh, loose, light clothes and probably a, a nice cold water bottle. Pretty good idea as well. Got to make sure they stay hydrated. Want to start off with an update on Hurricane Maria, something we're still watching for potential U.S. impacts. It's still a very impressive looking hurricane right now. It's a Category 2 storm at the moment. Sustained winds at 105 miles an hour, moving due north. And it still has a little bit of a westerly track in that north uh, movement. Not by much, but it's enough where it's going to come pretty close to the outer banks and tropical storm watches have been issued for the coast of North Carolina. That's pretty much my main area of concern and uh, the impacts will start to be felt late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Later into Wednesday and Thursday, it's expected uh, Maria is to make that right hand turn and sort of get picked up by an upper level disturbance and swept out to sea, which certainly is good news. But again, coming awfully close to the shore, we're certainly going to feel those impacts along the East Coast, uh, the Carolinas, uh, even into Georgia, Virginia with some rough surf. Rip, uh, rip currents, likely some uh, coastal erosion possible out of this as well. All right, here at home, again, it's been a hot day. A lot of sunshine out there. The place to be, the waterfront, if you weren't down at New Era Field today. Look at these high temperatures, 90 degrees, and that's a new record here in Buffalo. We measure that at the airport. The old record was 88, so we beat that by 2 degrees. 92 up at Niagara Falls, a lot of 80s across the southern tier as well. Still very warm right now. Upper 80s we're holding on to as the sun starts to set across the Niagara frontier and we're shaping up to be another very warm night. In fact, as we head through the nighttime, close to midnight temperatures near 70 uh, across a lot of uh, spots in the metro, some mid 60s in the southern tier. We'll pretty much bottom out where we did last night. Mid 60s around Buffalo, some upper 50s in the southern tier valleys and another hot day on the way for tomorrow. We're looking at upper 80s maybe near 90 degrees and the record 87 here in Buffalo. So that very much up for grabs. Mainly clear skies for tonight, mild and muggy with a bit of patchy valley fog across the southern tier. Your Monday starting off the day, maybe a little bit of patchy morning fog for the morning commute. Otherwise, continued sunshine with record heat possible. Again, I'm looking for mid upper 80s. Some spots wouldn't be surprised to hit 90 or 91. And again, that record of 87 
very much in play. All right, seven day forecast. We'll keep the heat again on Tuesday with a whole lot of sunshine. Wednesday's that transition day. Still pretty warm out there, but an approaching cold front arrives Wednesday afternoon and evening. We could see a few spotty showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. The wet weather aspect of this doesn't impress me much, but the temperatures behind it will be much more noticeable. By Thursday, mix of clouds and sunshine in the mid 60s. Much more refreshing and much more seasonal temperatures. Friday, another wave of moisture with a few scattered showers. We'll see increasing sunshine for next weekend, but much more comfortable at this point in the mid 60s. Thank you, Andrew. Families of fallen soldiers, also known as Gold Star families, are now honored at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval Park. Today, a new memorial marker was unveiled with the ceremony. The families at the ceremony today tell us they are proud to now be part of the Naval Park. And this memorial honors families who lost a loved one in any conflict. We long had, had hoped to be have something that people would recognize and remember is of the Gold Star families because many people are, are unaware of what a Gold Star is. It's long overdue that we have a, a marker to commemorate this in the Naval Park because they sacrificed as much as any veteran uh, and they continue to sacrifice in their pain each and every day that they uh, do not have that loved one among them. State Senator Chris Jacobs hopes this memorial also helps future generations understand the sacrifices made for our freedom. Still to come here on News 4 at 6, soon when you head to the movies, you'll be able to see more and more of Western New York popping up in the background. Coming up, why more filmmakers say they're picking our region as the setting for their feature films. And News 4 Sports, Shannon Shepard joins us live in the newsroom with a look ahead. Shannon? Hey there, Callan. Well, we are still breaking down that Bills win over the Broncos. A longer look at some highlights and post-game reaction from New Era Field continues after the break. It's Ford SUV season, so be ready with features designed to detect what they don't. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry. It's okay. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's most trusted brand of SUVs. There's never been a better time to come into your neighborhood Ford store than Ford SUV season. Because right now, you can get into a new Edge for as little as $2.59 a month. Just $2.59 during Ford SUV season. Heritage isn't something we're built with, it's something we're born with. Off-road or on, the Toyota 4Runner and Tacoma can handle almost anything. These Toyota icons are loaded with available features like four-wheel drive, a V6 engine, and an aggressive TRD Pro design. See for yourself how the Toyota 4Runner and Tacoma put the legend in legendary. Tested, trusted Toyota. Right now, lease a new Tacoma 4x4 for $249 a month, or lease a new 4Runner with four-wheel drive for $299 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. After a major crash resulting in traumatic injuries, do you believe experience matters? At William Matar, we do. For more than 25 years, we've helped thousands who've been seriously injured. Put our focus and courtroom experience to work for you. After a serious crash, time can be critical. Call now. The firm with the focus, the firm with the force. 444 4444. Current GMC lessees can get this low mileage lease on this specially equipped GMC. So last week when the Bills fell to the Panthers in a game that consisted of four total field goals, that was it. I barely had enough highlights to show. But today it's the opposite as the Bills certainly rose to their opponent. Denver maintained a three-point lead through the first quarter. So we're going to start in the second. Tyrod Taylor finding Andre Holmes. That's your first touchdown of the game. The Bills go up 7-3. to three. The Broncos would answer on the next drive. Jamal Charles, a 12-yard score. Fighting through traffic. That makes it 10-7 Denver. Before the end of the half, we had three field goals 
Bills kicker Stephen Hauschka had two of them, one from 49 yards and that one from 55. We were tied at 13 at the half. In the second half, the Bills looked impressive. Tyrod Taylor connecting with Jordan Matthews. This is a 25-yard pickup. The Bills are deep in scoring position, and Taylor goes to his tight end, Charles Clay, hauling in the touchdown pass. The Bills go up 23-16 to after the score, and then another Hauschka field goal. Then the Buffalo defense picks up where they left off last week. Rookie Tredavious White picking off Trevor Simeon. It's his first turnover of his career. The Bills would add the insurance they need because of this controversial penalty. Third down, Taylor was incomplete, but he's hit by Von Miller. That was all fine until Miller pretended to help up Taylor. Too slow. He was flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct. That gave the Bills a new set of downs. Hauschka kicks his fourth field goal, and the Bills win 26-16. to Josh Reed and Nick Filipowski join me now live from New Era Field. Well, this Bills defense came into the week ranked in the top five in the entire NFL, and they showed why today. The Bills D is now allowing just 12.3 points per game they were lights out against the Broncos pretty impressive and for the third straight game the Bills secondary does not allow a passing touchdown and we talked about this on Buffalo kickoff live during our pregame show outside of Colt Anderson this secondary is brand new Micah Hyde Tredavious White the rookie who oh by the way was picked on a lot had a couple mistakes some blown coverages where he was kind of left hanging out to dry some miscommunication they kept going after him in the second half he rose to the occasion and ultimately comes up with his first interception in the National Football League and it helped turn the tide in this game. Well, that's exactly right. It was like watching a boxing match. They'd hit him, he'd hit back. They'd hit him, he'd hit back. We heard from the first round draft pick, Trey White, following today's win. That's, that's, that's what you play the game for. You know, that's what I play the game of football for. I'm a 100% I'm competitor. That's what I love to do. I want to go against the best. So, you know, and I'm on the highest stage that I can be. I'm just having fun, man. If you're not having fun, I don't know why you're doing it. So I, I definitely have fun, especially with the guys I have in this locker room. Uh, we were kind of down on ourselves last week not getting those turnovers. You know, everyone was saying the defense played well, but we didn't see it that way. You know, we gave up, you know, uh, the field position battle too often. Whether if, you know, we're giving up, what, three field goals last week, but we gave up the, uh, the field position and, and uh, our offense is backed up too much. So we had to get those takeaways, and today we were able to do that. We stressed it all week, and uh, unfortunately, you know, the corners did an awesome job today coming up with those takeaways and, and uh, you know, giving the offense a uh, good field position. The Bills D's been great all three weeks. In fact, yes. Pete, my guy <laughs> out there in Twitter land, he informed me that the Bills defense is now allowing just four points in the second half on the average. You're going to win a lot of games when you step up in money time. Most definitely, and when the offense is able to get into a rhythm like they did today and score points, and the defense is able to keep teams off the board, especially in the second half, you're going to get more wins than losses. You're right. The offense finally got in a little bit of a rhythm. Not a lot of huge plays, no. but they made the big ones when they needed to. Shannon, back to you. All right, thanks, guys. Let's talk about hockey. Sabres continue to slim down their roster today, sending four players back down to Rochester. That included Hudson Fashing and Brendan Gooley. Fashing scored Buffalo's only goal last night is, and is expected to be a top scorer for the Amherst. We've got all the Sabres roster moves on our website, WIVB.com. Big win for the Bills. We cannot stress that enough. Beautiful weather. It's a good Sunday. It was just a great game to watch. Absolutely. It was very entertaining. Much more yes. entertaining than last week. Oh, my God. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Still ahead. Help is on the way for the victims of Maria. What Governor Cuomo and a celebrity you see here are doing to bring relief to the island. And Bills players protest the national anthem tonight. We have reaction from fans coming up. Season premiere October 11th on the CW23. Independent Health Red Shirts are always here to help. Like when we found a health facility for Paul, keep those hands up. We introduced Molly and 3,000 other students to soccer. That's over 5,000 practices. Even translated doctor's orders for Anne when she was in Italy. Grazie. Molto bene. So there's not much we haven't seen. Swimming with jellyfish? Check. Getting greener at the grocery store? Check. Helping a small business offer benefits? You bet. 
From your everyday to your unexpected, that's the Red Shirt Treatment. Car troubles? Come in now for the $69.95 Lifetime Brake Special installed. Get your state inspection for only $10. Low prices all the time. Check us out online for specials. ValueMuffler.com. Value Muffler and Brake will fix your cars for less. Guaranteed. This is the J.D. Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! Does she have to? She doesn't have to. Luckily, Chevy makes choosing easy because it's the only brand to earn J.D. Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow, it's really nice in here. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this 2017 Chevy Malibu for around $169 a month or get $3,500 cash allowance on most Chevy Malibu models. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Over the years, thousands and thousands of people throughout western New York have come to discover firsthand about Extreme Discount Mattress. I've been a Buffalo firefighter for 19 years. It's very demanding work, but it's very rewarding. The little bit of rest we do get, I like to get it only on an Extreme Discount Mattress. I'm a big guy, and you can't beat that support. That's why Extreme Discount This is Western New York's News Leader. Now, News 4 at 6. NFL teams responded to President Trump today, protesting during the national anthem prior to the games. Yesterday, the president said players who take a knee should be fired. From refusing to stand to staying off the field, Seth Lemon is in New York with more on those reactions. What's so proud? Politics overshadowed plays and passes across the NFL Sunday as teams showed their defiance to President Trump's criticism Friday of NFL players protesting the national anthem. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. His comments prompted larger protests from the Ravens and Jaguars, joined by team owner Shad Khan, to many other NFL teams whose players, coaches, and some owners stood in solidarity. The Seattle Seahawks, Tennessee Titans, and Pittsburgh Steelers said their teams would not be on the field for the anthem. Not to be disrespectful to the anthem, to remove ourselves from this circumstance. Steelers player Alejandro Villanueva, a U.S. Army veteran, was the only player who participated. Here at NFL headquarters, Commissioner Roger Goodell said the president's comments showed a lack of respect for the league and its players. And Sunday, his predecessor, former Commissioner Paul Tagliabu, agreed, calling the president's comments insulting and disgraceful. When it comes to this recent uh, spat with the NFL, look, uh, there are far more important things that we ought to be focusing on. On the Sunday morning shows, Republican and Democratic lawmakers weighed in. I've always said sports and the arts will bring America together. It's where we put our distant differences aside. Let's not, uh, not, not have the president of the United States do anything but bring people together. Sunday afternoon, President Trump tweeted, great solidarity for our national anthem and for our country. Standing with locked arms is good. Kneeling is not acceptable. Seth Lemon for CBS News, New York. Well, before the game started here in Buffalo, Bills and Broncos players took a knee during the national anthem as well. The Bills were linked arm to arm, some kneeling as a sign of solidarity. Tonight, Bills fans are reacting. We are hearing from fans who say the players' actions are disrespectful and from others who are speaking out in support of the protest. News 4's Rachel Monjovi is at New Era Field where she has been talking to fans. Rachel, what are they saying? Yeah, Callan, Bills players joined NFL teams all over the country to protest during the playing of the national anthem. Bills players stood with their arms locked, and a good bit of them did kneel during the Star Spangled Banner. Again, this is in response to President Trump's comments, who said that players who do kneel during the national anthem should be fired. Now, since then, we've seen team owners from all over the country respond, including Terry and Kim Pagula. They said, quote, our players have the freedom to express themselves in a respectful and thoughtful manner. Now, we talked to dozens of Bills fans as they left tonight's game, and there were mixed reactions to today's protest. A lot of people found it to be disrespectful. Many people thought that politics and issues like this should be left out of sports, and some say the protest isn't a sign of disrespect, but a movement to show that not everyone shares the same freedoms and equalities. 
There's hundreds of thousands of soldiers fighting for our freedom over there, including myself. I did at one point. And for you to sit down and not stand up and protest, there's so many other ways to protest. But to go against the soldiers that are over there fighting for our freedom, that's something I can never, ever, 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 ever agree with. That would be one of the best ways to get the message out there, you know? So why not do it where millions of people are seeing it, you know? So like I said, it's not, no disrespect to the flag at all. And I totally understand why the players are doing it. It's just, you know, a lot of people think it's, like, disrespectful to the whole country. But it's not, you know? It's not at all. Now, you may remember that the kneeling movement started last year when former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick kneeled to protest racial injustice in America. And we did see a couple fans sporting his former jersey here at the Bills game tonight. Now, tonight on News 4 at 10 and 11, we'll hear more from fans and why some support this movement and why others do not. Live at New Era Field tonight, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 6.30. Thank you, Rachel. Bills players are also reacting to these protests and explaining why they did it. At a press conference after the game today, Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor shared his thoughts on the anthem protests. Individuals felt the need to kneel. Some people stood. Uh, we respect each and everyone's decision. Um, <clears throat> but I think the main thing is that we were all on the same page in doing so. Taylor says he believes the NFL organization's true meaning is love and equality. Turning now to weather, it was a hot day today down at New Era Field. A lot of fans guzzling water, trying to stay cool while they were out there in the sunshine because it got hot. Yeah, that's the thing to do, Tim. We've been talking for days about just stay hydrated. That's the most important thing. I mean, even in the middle of summer, this is hot. And, and especially considering it's fall, it's the end of September. We hit 90 today here in Buffalo. That was a new record. It's just not something we're used to here uh, this time of year, especially so you got to just make sure you're safe and if, if you're out and about enjoying this weather and we're going to have that continue for the next couple of days. Look at uh, Niagara Falls, one of the hotter spots over the past couple of days and today was no different. 92 for them uh, as we look uh, with the sun setting in the mist and we did see the uh, made of the mist running. Not a bad day for that. Certainly really the water's the place to be. Still a few boaters out there as we head into the evening hours. Uh, pretty calm conditions out, but again, definitely the place to cool off. High temperatures today. Again, a record breaking 90 degrees here in Buffalo and 92 degrees in Niagara Falls. We had some 80s across the southern tier. Still felt like 90s even down at New Era, St uh, New Era Field with the uh, humidity, all the sunshine and lack of a breeze. Still very warm out there. As we begin to lose the daylight, it's going to be another mild evening for sure and uh, even uncomfortable sleeping weather. We bottom out in the mid-60s here around Buffalo, some upper 50s in the southern tier. Back into the 80s and near 90 again for your Monday with a whole lot of sunshine. So for tonight, mainly clear skies. The only thing we'll watch out for is a little bit of patchy fog across the southern tier valleys. Uh, then tomorrow, again, the heat is back. Keep in mind, make sure you dress appropriately, light, loose clothing. And for the kids heading to school, especially if there's no air conditioning in the schools at this point, make sure they have a nice cold water bottle as they head on in. Make sure they stay hydrated and safe. Coming up in your full 401 forecast, I'll let you know when this heat is finally leaving in that seven-day forecast. family still haven't been able to hear from all of our family over there and we are concerned for them and for everyone on the island. Given the loss Jennifer Lopez and Governor Andrew Cuomo are reaching out to help victims of Hurricane Maria. They spoke at a press conference this morning. JLo says she will donate one million dollars from the proceeds of her Las Vegas show. Governor Cuomo set up a website with collection points across New York State for people to give donations. We have a link on how you can help on the Founded on Four section of our website, WYVB.com. Still ahead, lights, camera, action. Western New York is becoming more and more of a hotspot for filmmakers. Over the next few months, you're expected to see several feature films shot in our area. Our very own Marissa Perlman takes a look at the spike in popularity and how Western New York is getting ready for its close-up. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? Oh boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the new Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. No problem. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. 
current Buick or GMC lessees. Get this low mileage lease on this 2017 Buick Encore for around $139 per month. See it, shoot it, and send it to WIVB.com with reported, sponsored by Mattress Firm. It's Mattress Firm's semi-annual sale. Your favorite brand name mattresses are on sale, plus get an additional 10% off. And we'll beat any competitor's price by 10%, only at Mattress Firm. If you've been injured in an auto accident, choosing the right law firm is crucial. Don't wait. Call 8. No matter what type of accident you've been in, head-on, rear-end, or T-bone, the attorneys at Salino and Barnes are ready to help you 24-7. And with their no-fee promise, you don't pay unless they win. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Don't wait. Call 8. Call 888 Don't wait. Call 8. Your Western New York Chevy dealers invite you to start your own adventure getaway. The all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox is the perfect choice for whatever adventure your life brings. Log on to WIVB.com to find out how you could win a hiking and camping adventure. It's our best sale of the season, Bonton's Goodwill Sale. Now through Saturday, September 30th, get up to an extra 30% off coupon for each item or dollar you donate. Save on designer brands that rarely go on sale. The latest apparel for you and your family, shoes, handbags, jewelry, and more. Save on nearly everything, even cosmetics and fragrance. From Kenmore to Hamburg, covering all Western New York, this is News 4. We're for Buffalo. Over the past five years, Western New York has become a hot spot for making movies. And leaders say these are the most film crews they've ever seen in our area. News 4's Marissa Perlman shares which films you can expect to see shot here over the next few months. From Niagara Falls to downtown Buffalo, TV and film crews seem to be taking advantage of Western New York as a backdrop. You see these little nuggets all over the country in different cities, but it's not too often that you see everything bunched up in a city um, like we have it here. Tim Clark, Buffalo Niagara Film Commissioner, says Olmsted Parks, Frank Lloyd Wright Homes, and the Central Terminal have all been home to movie shoots as of late. The latest one is called The True Adventures of Wolf Boy. These are the same people who got two Academy Awards last year for Manchester by the Sea, so they're really acclaimed uh, filmmakers. And another movie coming your way is still being kept hush-hush, but we are told it's a prequel to a major motion picture series. It is uh, employing hundreds of people and hundreds of extras and 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 hundreds of vendors as well so um, it will be safe to say one of the bigger if not the biggest uh, movies that 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 this community's ever seen it's been a team effort between city and state leaders to make these movies here and then when they get here they realize wow this is a city like none other the new york state tax incentive to film movies in upstate new york brings the crews here but it's word of mouth that keeps them coming back Having Marshall here last year was something that just spread like wildfire. And I think when the movie comes out next month, our phones will bring even busier than they are now. Reporting in Buffalo, Marissa Perlman, News 4. For your health tonight, a new study finds that one in 12 deaths could have been prevented with 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. Researchers followed people in 17 countries, and the study also found that the same amount of activity would prevent one in 20 cases of cardiovascular disease. New research finds life expectancy in the U.S. increased by two years to 78 years and eight months in 2015, but the increased use of opioids helped reduce the gain, which is just terrible. Well, Andrew, in terms of getting outside for your 30 minutes of exercise, <laughs> maybe a little later in the day. Yeah. I know it's getting dark earlier, earlier but later, still. but yeah, I mean, we're still in that midsummer heat feel. Uh, make sure you stay hydrated. We'll talk about how long this lasts. Autumn temperatures are on the way. I'll let you know when in your 4-1 forecast. This unit, I knew I would have to work twice as hard to prove myself. You did everything you could. You followed procedure. Donnie. Sir, you have to let me fly this mission. You will have to prove you're up to it. Are we good? I'll 
squared away. Valor, coming this fall to the CW23. How do you show up? Do you just bring it? Or do you bring it all? Focus. Third row, like a pro. Current GMC lessees can get this low mileage lease on this 2017 GMC Acadia SLE1 for around $249 per month for 24 months. We are professional grade GMC. At William Matar, we are proud to be named one of 2017's best companies to work for in New York State. At William Matar, this award highlights our commitment to our team, which allows us to attract some of the best and the brightest who make a difference in our clients' lives. The firm with the focus. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. 444-4444. You each drive a Ford pickup, right? Yes, yes, sir. I'm gonna show you a next generation pickup. Awesome, let's do this. The bed is made of high strength steel, which is less susceptible to punctures than aluminum. The stronger, the better. And best of all, this new truck is actually <laughs> oh, right. the current Chevy Silverado. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Silverado All-Star for around $199 a month, or get 5,000 total. Welcome back. We're really in the middle of this heat, this incredible late season heat, and we actually broke some records, and we'll talk a lot about that. I want to start off with a quick update on Hurricane Maria, still a Category 2 storm, and we're talking about United States impacts that are likely, but how many of these impacts, that still remains to be seen. Latest information from the National Hurricane Center puts Maria at a Category 2, sustained winds at 105 miles an hour. I think the greatest area of impacts will be the Outer Banks in North Carolina, where we actually do have tropical storm watches uh, right now that have been issued. Over the next 24 hours, expected to maybe maintain its strength or slowly weaken at least to a Category 1 storm. Late Tuesday and Wednesday is the uh, time frame of the greatest impacts for the Outer Banks, but then getting into Wednesday, Marie is expected to finally hook to the right and move out to sea. And at that point, good news, it will weaken and not cause any more headaches here in the United States. Here at home, though, it's been another hot day. Niagara Falls, the sun beginning to set, still very warm there. And, and 90, Niagara Falls, 92 degrees for their daytime high. Absolutely incredible. Place to be today has been the, the uh, at the water, on the water, at the waterfront. If you weren't down at New Air Field, just try to keep cool out there. A lot of boaters out enjoying uh, the weather today. 90 degrees here in Buffalo, and that was a new record. Absolutely incredible. Even if it didn't reach the 90s, down in the South Towns, down at Orchard Park, it still felt like the 90s. You factor in the heat and humidity, and that's why we've been saying so much. You have to stay hydrated, especially for the folks down uh, at the uh, stadium for the Bills game. Very important out there, and I know they brought in extra water so that they wouldn't run out, uh, and with the lowered prices, too. Temperatures outside, still pretty warm out there for sure. Upper 80s across the Niagara frontier. Still starting to see a few 70s in the southern tier, but it's going to be another uncomfortably warm night ahead. Very similar to the past couple of nights where we actually just stay in the 60s here around Buffalo. The cooler spots in the southern tier valleys briefly drop into the upper 50s, and then the heat is back tomorrow afternoon. So your forward forecast for tonight, skies mainly clear, mild and muggy with a bit of patchy southern tier fog uh, in those valleys, those spots getting into the upper 50s. Now, your Monday. Keep this in mind. The heat will continue, and I would not be surprised that we'll break another record. The current record's at 87. I'm calling for mid-upper 80s again, and some 90s even possible again as well. A lot of sunshine, basically a carbon copy of what we saw today. Now, if you're heading out, if you have any outdoor activities, just be safe. Limit your outdoor strenuous activities, but especially for the kids heading off to school, especially if there's no air conditioning uh, at this point, make sure maybe uh, you send them off with a nice cold bottle of water, maybe a partially frozen bottle of water, that they can sip during the day. Make sure they have uh, loose light clothing as well, especially if they're going to be out in this daylight. The heat continues into your Sunday upper 80s once again. Finally, some relief through the midweek, though. Wednesday is the day that we'll see some changes. It's still very warm in the 80s, but a few clouds and a, even a few spotty showers develop late afternoon and evening as a cold front moves in. I'm not very impressed with the rain potential out of this front, but the temperatures will be much more noticeable. We're back in the mid-60s on Thursday, and that carries right through the following weekend. 
It may be a little bit cooler, but at least it's still sunny. And next weekend will feel pretty nice. Refreshing, but the sunshine, yeah, Refreshing after it'll today, be nice. definitely. Yeah. We know that the fans were drinking a lot of water at today's games, and it must have been hot for the athletes. Yeah, I can roll, only imagine. Roll the, roll the tees. Because the Bills fans were basking in the sun today at New Airfield and still basking in the win over the Broncos. Sports next after the break. Monday at 9 on the CW23. I love the countertops. And I like the price. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. That feeling, only better. The thrill of getting a better deal than you expected. At the Volkswagen Selldown event, you can get $1,000 cash back on a new 2017 Jetta. Get $1,000 cash back or lease this 2017 Jetta S for just $109 a month after $1,000 bonus. Offers end October 2nd. It's not just a car. It's your daily retreat. Innovative technology, refined styling. That feeling you can only find in a Lexus. Go ahead, spoil yourself. The ES and ES Hybrid. Lease the 2017 ES350 for $299 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Current lessees switch to GMC and get this low mileage lease on this GMC Terrain SLE1 for around $149 per month. We are professional grade. GMC. Yeah. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this Chevy Cruze for around $169 a month. afternoon against a Denver Broncos team that's been known for their defense but the Bills offense was brought back to life from the dead last week in Charlotte and the defense continued to impress well we start in the second half Bills down 16-13 Tyrod Taylor rolling out he finds Charles Clay for the score the Bills go up 20 to 16 the Broncos get the ball back and Trevor Simeon bad choice he's picked off by EJ Gaines the Bills would get three points off the turnover from Steven Hauschka, who was an MVP today. Buffalo had a seven-point lead heading into the fourth quarter, and this was the play for me that sealed the deal. Simeon, another bad choice. This time he's picked off by Tredavious White, the rookie with his first career interception. The Bills win 26-16. to Our team coverage continues from New Era Field. We talked the Bills defense and rightfully so they're ranked in the top five in the NFL and they're not going anywhere after today. <laughs> Bills offense though gotten a little bit more of a rhythm this week made big plays when they needed to Tyrod Taylor through two touchdowns more importantly no interceptions. Yeah and that's the big thing Tyrod Taylor obviously not a lot of teams are going to be threatened by his arm but they chipped away they chipped away Jordan Matthews had some big catches. Zay Jones was targeted a couple times, didn't come up with any catches, but he did have that tip in the end zone to Andre Holmes. Everybody seemed to be in the right place at the right time today. We was able to do a couple of different things in the passing game. Uh, some crossing routes we knew there was a man team, uh, even get on the edge um, and our keepers. Um, I think it was good that we mixed up different protections to try to calm down 58 and him rushing free. But ultimately, the guys went out. They took a challenge on the, on the outside and was able to make some plays. Um, Proud of those guys. I felt like in last week we didn't capitalize on our big uh, our opportunities. Today we just did, and it was really that simple. It wasn't some vast change that we made. It wasn't like we just brought in a whole bunch of new guys. It was just we executed on the plays when they were uh, when they were out there, and I think that's what we got to continue to do. Well, we knew coming into this one that turnovers were going to be a big factor. The Bills 
didn't turn it over at all, and they forced two turnovers. Denver had won 30 straight games going all the way back to 2012 when they had won the turnover battle. So that's big for the Bills. All good things must come to an end. And speaking of good things, even when the Bills, going back to the offense, their drives did stall, they call him house money. Stephen House got huge today, a huge weapon for this team. A couple 50-yard field goals today. He's a big reason why they're able to improve to 2-1 and one on the year. Two field goals from 53 or more. It's the first time a Bills kicker has ever done that. Shannon, back to you. All right, thanks, guys. And uh, Sean McDermott, first Bills coach to win back-to-back -back home games. Awesome. Still to come, the perfect proposal where two Western New Yorkers celebrated their love. is the thing that dad values most in the world. He should be giving it to me. Oh, she thought she was getting the promotion, not a stepmother. You're not going to scare this one off, Fallon. Your father offered me the COO position. Fight me, Crystal. Call me mom. Oh, Something tells me you hate surprises. That's not what I hate. Dynasty, coming this fall to the CW23. Welcome back, Grandma. Wow. I did a lot of shopping in Italy. And I met a nice man. Ciao. Gino. Gino. Da Italia. He's Italian. Very cool. Buick now has an SUV for that. The new Buick Envision. One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Current Buick or GMC lessees. Get this low mileage lease on this 2017 Buick Envision for around $239 per month. This bike? Seized from a drug dealer who was selling to kids. And that's job one, protecting our families. But Bernie Tolbert doesn't understand that. He's been out of law enforcement for a long time. Bernie Tolbert's never fought the heroin crisis. He's never run the road patrols or rescue operations that save lives. Maybe he's been busy with other things. Bernie Tolbert, just not fit to protect us. It's Ford SUV season. This close to falling asleep and you had to tell them a scary story. Zombie squirrels. No. When you turn a spacious interior into a fortress, <laughs> that's how you become America's most trusted brand of SUVs. There's never been a better time to come into your neighborhood Ford store than Ford SUV season. Because right now you can get into a new... Love was in the air for one couple in Clarence. Sebastian and Kelsey got engaged today at the Great Pumpkin Farm. There he is, popping the question. And, spoiler alert, she said yes. Congratulations to the happy couple. What a great day. Oh, it's just great news. Yeah, That's no, great news to end on. <laughs> That's all for this weekend edition of News 4 at 6. You can join us at 10 and 11. Have a great night, everyone.